Hey guys, so we are now masters of top stitching our pretty rectangular pieces of fabric to create table linens, napkins, etc. Um, with that skill, we can also make curtains. This is a curtain I have actually already made for another tutorial, which you can find online. I will show you how to make it. I will also show you a very important skill, how to hang it properly. So many people hang their curtains the wrong way and it ends up closing the space. Now, I've taken a few interior design classes myself, um, have a degree in it, and let me tell you, there is a right way and a wrong way to hang a curtain. So here we've got our window. A lot of people take a curtain, they put their rod directly across the window. We've got our rod across the window, and then they put their panels hanging down. And then you've got your window and it's covering it, that works. But you could also do this, where you put your rod above the window and have it extend past the curtain. So when your panels hang down, they are merely framing the window so that you can still see out of it and then it has this lovely decor around it. And if you need to, you can still shut them up and close off that light. So folks, please, oh please, put your curtains above the window and out to the side so that there's plenty of room for them to hang out without blocking the gorgeous view and the beautiful sun from coming in. All right, so my spiel's a little, my spiel on, on curtains is over. Now I want you to know how simple they are to sew. So with this curtain, we did the same top stitching technique as we did with the linen that we made earlier. And then all we did up here is to close up that curtain, um, it's simply the same double folded hem and we just top stitched, uh, we just folded over about two more inches, maybe, maybe four more inches so that there's room for the rod. And then you just top stitched right along. So it's as simple as giving yourself some extra room for the rod to go through, they work great. And that, my friends, is a very basic way to sew up your curtains. You can stylize them or, you know, change them based on your mood um, and just have fun decorating your home with all those different options. I love working with t-shirts. Um, I cut this one up myself <laughs> that I'm wearing. Um, the reason I like it is because I have like way too many t-shirts in my closet from years of running track and like years of listening to cool bands and go to their shows. And sometimes you're not gonna wear them all the time, but you want to have them in your life. And with this little tutorial, it's a way of recycling that old shirt and all those memories without having to throw it away and feeling bad for having too many things. 